Hello. So in this example, we'll do some compare and contrast of these three species, hydroxide, water, and ammonia. Comparing their relative basicity and nucleophilicity. Let's start with basicity first. That means the ability for them to attract an H plus ion. Now, when we are asked to compare three different species or more than that, we have to dissect them and compare group by group. So now, let's group them. I will group them this way. Group number one, the hydroxide with water. And group number two, water with ammonia. The reason why I group them as such is because every time I compare, I will just like to change one variable at a time. If you look at the difference between the hydroxide and water, it is only this single H and the negative charge. Between water and ammonia, the difference is the center in which these hydrogens are bonded to, nitrogen against oxygen, and both are not charged. So in the first group, I'm comparing the effective effect of charge, and in the second case, the effect of changing the atom. Now in the first case, we have hydroxide and water. So OH minus lone pair, three lone pair on the oxygen, water, H2O, or in this case I can put OH2, how many lone pair? There are only two lone pairs. Now take note, it is never about the number of lone pairs that you have on an atom that makes it more willing to give away the electrons. You just think about it. Somebody who has um, $1,000, but not so generous, could only donate $1. Compared to some guy or some girl who has 10 bucks in the pocket, and he or she donates 5 bucks. So who gave away more in the end? It's not about how much you have, but how much you're willing to give. So in this case, both are just oxygen with the same electronegativity. Now the term electronegativity, I've explained some time ago, electro negativity, you can perceive this term as how much it wants to hold back its electrons. So we know that fluorine in the periodic table is the most electronegative, having a scale 4.0, highest possible. So fluorine wants to hold back its electron, it doesn't want to give at all, compared to all other elements. And oxygen is the second most electronegative element, so it wants to hold back its electron. Now, you compare hydroxide and water. Hydroxide, this oxygen, has a negative charge, which means it has a bit more electron density than the oxygen in water. Which means to say that even though both are just oxygen, but negative charge can attract the positive charge better because it's oppositely charged. Which means to say that this is a stronger base than water. Now, the other group. Water against ammonia. Both are not charged, so I can't talk about charge attractions. But what I can talk about is electronegativity. So nitrogen is the third most electronegative element of the periodic table after fluorine, after oxygen. So there's one lone pair on the nitrogen, two lone pairs on the oxygen. And remember, it is never about how much, how many electrons you have. It's about how willing you are to give away electrons. So since nitrogen is less electronegative than oxygen, it can pick up the H plus more willingly and better than the oxygen. And hence, ammonia is a stronger base than water. So now let's compare across. You can't beat charge attraction. Negative, positive, instant attractions. We talk about columbic forces of attraction or you can say electrostatic, instant charge. So if I compare the strength of bases among these three molecules, ions, strongest base, and water is the weakest base. And this is in between, in the middle of these two. Now lastly, let me conclude, what about nucleophilicity? These two again is very similar, 
but nuclear felicity talk about forming a bond with carbon or carbon that's electron deficient. So likewise, if a carbon or any atom wants some electron, it is electron deficient, the one that's charged would prefer to give electron because it's attracted to it. So in this case, it is your strongest nucleophile as well. I use NUC to do a short form, nucleophile. Now between water and ammonia, likewise, the ammonia lone pair could donate electron to an atom that's electron deficient and form a bond with it better than the oxygen. So ammonia would be a, the next best nucleophile. So middle nucleophile, middle base, and by this virtue, water here is the weakest nucleophile among these three species given.